Thank you for choosing to watch the Watchman News headlines video. Our full episodes can now be seen over at Patreon with much more added content for just $2 a month. Link is in the description. If you cannot afford $2 a month, please consider using our Amazon affiliate link, purchasing from our Teespring store, or making a PayPal donation. All links are below. In order for us to grow, we have to make changes to enable it. Our time is valuable, and we have been one of the very few news sources actually dedicated to bringing you honest, hard-hitting, actionable news and information. Plus, for your $2 a month, you do not have to hear me blabber about these links. It's a win for us all. Bullshit. Thank you. Good morning, watchmen and watchwomen of YouTube. So, we had a, various, a very serious discussion tonight. Uh, which I'm not in any way whatsoever going to get involved in here on YouTube. Um, but uh, it is what it is. And uh, you guys know, those of you that have been for a while, uh, been around for a while, know that I don't play no games. I don't pull no punches. I don't mealy mouth or anything like that. I will call it as it is and I will call people out. Straightforward. And that's uh, what had to be done. So anyway, I want to thank our third Patreon. We're up to three now. If I didn't lose any from tonight, we're up to three now. And uh, I, I do expect that we're going to grow. I expect that we're going to grow by leaps and bounds. The Father wouldn't have put me on this mission. He wouldn't have put me this direction if he did not have plans for me. Now, those plans may be sinking our boat all the way down to the bottom of the ocean or it could be giving it wings and taking it as high as it can fly. That's the Father's will and I'm good with it either way. That, that is what it means to surrender. So anyway, I uh, got lots of headlines today. There was quite a few all over the place. Let's go ahead and get right on into them. Uh, we'll make a quick reminder. It is beginning of the month. If you're interested in Patreon, now's the time to do it. Otherwise, uh, you know, if you get in in the late end of the month or whatever, you know, you wind up having to pay back-to-back -back fees and stuff. Um, so I recommend you do it early on in the month if you're, in, you know, intending to. I'm posting a lot of stuff. I mean, a lot of stuff. I'm not just saying that. Click the link and go over and look. You can't, you know, anything that's uh, anything that's uh, a paid thing, you can't actually look into it. But look at all of the times that I post and the different things I'm posting about. Seriously. It's not the same as over at YouTube. I am nonstop posting stuff over here. And I hope I'm not uh, frustrating the patrons. <laughs> because I post a lot. And I enjoy posting a lot. Anyway... Uh, let's do some headlines. Let me have a sip of coffee because I'd already been yakking for an hour. Coffee's already cold, but that's all good. Have a vape here. All right. Biden signs orders encouraging immigrants and directing task force to pin initial report into kids in cages within 120 days. And there's a question mark, so go with it. Mexico greenlights emergency use of Sputnik V after Lancet data shows Russian coronavirus vaccine is 91% effective. U.S. Treasury head Yellen to meet with major financial regulators to probe market volatility after GameStop craze. Fresh fears of fighting in Nagorno-Karabakh as Azerbaijan accuses Armenia of violating ceasefire with machine gun volley. University students scuffle with police in Istanbul amid ongoing protests over Erdogan-appointed rector and LGBT rights. India accuses foreign vested interest groups of smear campaign over farmer protests. Indian stocks soar to record highs as economic recovery picks up. 
Putin says freedom of speech online must be defended against social media companies intent on making profit at any cost. Russian grain exports hit historic high. Rising tensions in Northern Ireland stem from Brexit, not the protocol, Dublin says as UK blames EU vaccine control plan. South Korea holds drill at international airport ahead of COVID-19 vaccine deliveries. Children of men come true, question mark, COVID-19 may reduce male fertility worldwide, scientists warn. And I'm just waiting now to get uh, another smack from Facebook about, uh, I got one just today, and uh, I'll share that with you guys. I actually, I forgot, I was going to share it out on uh, Patreon, sorry guys, I forgot, I'll share it with you guys right now, and then I'll put it on Patreon uh, later. Um one more, I think it's, uh, is it here? No, it's not that. I know that I screenshotted it. I know, I know, I know I did. I wonder where I put it. <laughs> oh, this is a bummer, because it should have, oh, there it is. Hang on, let me pull it up here. Bink. Okay, so I got this one today. This morning it was waiting on me. Nice, huh? So the, the report was seven die at Spanish Care Home after getting Pfizer COVID-19 jab as all residents test positive for virus. Uh, second doses still to whatever, right? The fact check says it is statistically inevitable that some people will get sick and die of unrelated causes after giving the COVID-19 <laughs> vaccine. <laughs> of unrelated causes. Okay, this reminds me of the last time they hit me, right? The last time they hit me was, uh, was, was basically saying that, you know, people just randomly just, you know, like walked out. I mean, it didn't say exactly this, but, you know, that, that the face paralysis, remember all the face paralysis that was being reported in Israel and many other places? And, and so Facebook was trying to say that that's normal. You know, as if you just walk down the street, you know, you got face paralysis, right? It's, it's, it's normal. It just happens to people. Um, <laughs> I'm telling you, man, this, this is insane. So, yeah, I'll get hit for that. I'm already telling you ahead of time. I'm going to get hit for that because uh, they've already put out the warning about individuals that talk about um, male fertility or fertility in general with the COVID-19 vaccine. So... I'll get hit for it. No new hospitalizations in those who have been vaccinated against COVID-19, says Oxford vaccine chief, but warns of mutant variants. Riot police use batons to break up unplanned demonstrations in central Moscow as Navalny supporters protest his prison sentence. Price of domestic normality is uh, strict for COVID-19 travel quarantine rules, Scotland's National Clinical Director warns. India defends digital tax opposed by Washington and U.S. tech giants. Uh, let's see. Ukraine's embattled President Zelensky cracks down on opposition TV channels, sparking impeachment battle. COVID-19 app failed to pass on contact warnings for Android users since September, says Japanese government. Well, good. I don't want uh, anything tracking me. Hang on, having a vape. All right. China stocking up on chips and high-tech equipment to negate U.S. sanctions. Pardon me. Uh, let's see. Is Reddit crowd behind the silver short squeeze? Our teams, our teams boom bust investigates. And I honestly didn't read the article. Uh, I do know that the whole thing that Wall Street bets was going after silver was fake news. Absolute fake news. They were trying to, um, they were trying to misdirect people, <laughs> basically. Uh, Five-year plans are the way to recover Russia's GDP after COVID-19, economists say. Ah, oh, pardon me. Yawning. 
Uh, French privacy watchdog says proposed security law tramples on personal and data protection rights. German nuns rented orphaned boys to businessmen for gangbangs and orgies. Suppressed reports seen by media. And this, 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 I talked about, this was part of what I talked about in Patreon in relation to this other individual. Um... You know, hey, look, you can <laughs> you can support this stuff all you want. I'm not. I'm not. Not going to do it. What do you mean? Who would support this? Well, let me tell you what. Your tax money is going to governments that are helping hide this stuff. Your silence is enabling the governments and these religious institutions to do this stuff. We can sit here all day long and help victims, which I'm not knocking. That's an important task to do. But isn't it even more important? Isn't it monumentally more important to stop more victims from being created? So let's not bullshit anybody. Deadly carrot-derived antiviral could be magic bullet against COVID-19, the flu, and future pandemics. Myanmar's Su Kyi remanded in jail until February 15th as police filed charges following coup. No change to clauses or membership if Iran is to return to nuclear deals, says President Rouhani. MI6 collusion video, like many Americans believe Trump colluded with Moscow, plenty in Russia see Navalny team as Western agents. New START treaty with U.S. officially extended until February 2026 as Moscow hopes for new chapter in global stability. Former ECB chief Mario Draghi asked to become Italian prime minister and form new government, says a report. Israel extends vaccination program to anyone aged above 16 as rate of COVID-19 morbidity drops stalls. Pollution cools the... This, I read this headline earlier and I was like, oh. <laughs> it's true. But let's not get stuff twisted here, okay? Pollution cools the planet pandemic-induced lockdowns raised global temperatures in 2020. So let's not get this twisted. Yes, pollution will cool the planet because of all the haze and smog and crap that's in the air. But let's not get this twisted and uh, think that we should go pollute the hell out of the air so that we can stop global warming, okay? Because you're going to have some idiots, especially that, like, fly red colors a lot. Um, yeah, they're... Ooh, yeah! Uh, court finds French government guilty of failing to meet climate commitments. A friend in the north, Ukrainians trust Belarus, Lukashenko, more than Biden, Macron, and Putin, a new poll reveals. Uh, pardon me. Now, there's a lot of individuals that I trust more than any of them mentioned, including Lukashenko. So, yeah, I like trust the mailman more, to be honest. I have no reason not to trust the mailman. I've got a whole hell of a reason not to trust any of those cats. Uh, French lab to begin producing Moderna and Pfizer vaccines amid EU delivery dispute. A British newspaper's man in Moscow claims Russians lack self-worth because they failed to riot over Navalny court verdict. Oil rallies beyond one-year highs on inventory draw and supply cuts. Sharpest decline in aviation history. A passenger traffic plunged 66% last year due to pandemic, IATA says. 
International Court of Justice claims jur- jurisdiction to hear Iran's dispute against U.S. sanctions. This is something that I'm going to be interested in watching. Now, come on. The U.N. is largely... Hmm. Pardon me. I'm sorry. The U.N. is uh, largely the U.S. <laughs> Let's face it. But... I still want to... Uh, I still want to see... Denmark to pioneer digital vaccine passports to restart normal life. Switzerland delays approval of AstraZeneca and Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccines due to insufficient data. Hmm. Democrats and GOP strike power-sharing agreement allowing Dems to take over key Senate committees. And I'm not on any of them. Russian foreign ministry accuses unnamed Swedish diplomat of attending an authorized pro Navalny rally. Stockholm denies the allegation. Turkey's Erdogan labels student protesters terrorists and vows crackdown on demonstration over or after university appointment outcry. Men, we are allowing this word terrorist to be thrown around way too easily. And this is something that we better get a handle on. Because otherwise, everybody and their brother is going to be called a terrorist just so that one group or another can get away with whatever the hell they want to do. All they got to do is throw that label. Man, everybody has to stop throwing labels. Everybody. Everybody. Got to stop with the labels, man. All of them. All of them. That's how this happens. We need to stop worrying about what the other person, the other team, the other side is doing, and we need to hold our own accountable. Our own. Stop worrying about the other. Start holding your own accountable. Republicans, hold your own accountable. Democrats, hold your own accountable. My goodness, Catholics, hold your own accountable. That's the only way we can fix this. We've got to stop being a bunch of power-hungry authoritarian narcissists. Hold your own accountable. Western media smeared Moscow's COVID-19 vaccine efforts, but new trial data now has countries queuing for Sputnik V COVID-19 jab. TikTok agrees to Italy's request to block underage users after 10-year-old girl dies in social media challenge. This stuff's a shame. It truly is. No hugs or singing, but athletes will not be required to have vaccine as Tokyo Olympics outlines COVID-19 controls. And see, I thought they were going to cancel it. Don't know. It's, it's so hard to say what's going to happen at this point. Uh, Russian journalist Sergei Smirnov jailed for 25 days on charges of inciting people to attend pro Navalny protests. I mean, we're going to go to that, that kind of stuff in this country? I mean, we're, we're right there. We are literally right there. Right there. I mean, such a fine line to where we start arresting people just for speaking their opinion. We're right there. You know how we got there? By not holding your own accountable and just going back and forth with the other side? That's how we got where we are. Canadian government designates Proud Boys as terrorist group. That was the other headline I was waiting to run across. I'm telling you. And I don't like the Proud Boys. I don't you know, I, I, I do know what they stand for. I'm, I know that they're not white supremacists and all that. I know all that. But they are government lapdogs. They are bootlickers. Fact. So, yeah, I can't back that. But they damn well aren't terrorists. <laughs> they're not terrorists. They think they're doing the right thing. 
and 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 that doesn't necessarily not make you a terrorist because terrorists think they're doing the right thing but they are not terrorists at all they think they're patriots and for the most part they're trying to be patriotic um they're not white supremacists not whatsoever hell the leader of the group isn't white <laughs> how's that work they're not uh they're not white supremacists and uh I get a lot of their message aside from the fact of they worship the wrong master. A Supreme Court pauses Trump immigration cases as Biden plans to overturn Trump policies and orders a review of kids in cages. U.S. Navy must rename warships that have racist and Confederate names, a policy task force says. Here we go. Italy eagerly awaiting for, oh, trust me, I think it was the very last headline I shared is just really just messed up. Italy eagerly waiting for EU to register Sputnik 5 vaccine, head of group promoting Russian-Italian ties, tells RT. A U.S. freezing Trump plan to withdraw 12,000 troops from Germany while Pentagon reviews the policy, says the general. And now is not the time Fauci urges against Super Bowl parties and tells Americans to lay low. Uh, race over merit, Biden administration drops Trump-era lawsuit against jail over discrimination against Asian and white applicants. Ridiculous. Number of UK COVID-19 infections still alarmingly high, but schools likely to reopen next month says the Prime Minister, and that would be of the UK. Uh, let's see, warning labels, TikTok introduces Twitter-like censorship measures to curb misinformation. Just wonderful. Syrian air defenses respond to Israeli aggression near Golan Heights, says state media. COVID denier mom banned from all hospitals after repeatedly posting footage of empty words. Uh, the only choice for somebody like me, U.S. climate czar John Kerry defends flying private jet to Iceland to receive Enviro Award. Wisconsin County prosecutors demand arrest and bond increase for Kyle Rittenhouse over failure to report address change. And they're just doing literally anything they can. And this is ridiculous. This needs to be stopped. It really does. Uh, you know, whether you stand behind this gentleman or not, this really, we got to stop. You know, he went out to the bar and he had a few drinks one night and that's legal where he's at because he had a parent, even though I guess he was underage because there was a parent there that makes it legal. Now, I'm not a fan of alcohol. I speak out against it quite a bit. I'm not a fan of alcohol, but to each their own, um, you know, this man didn't do anything illegal or anything like that, but they were trying to get him thrown back in jail. Now, here again, they're trying to get him thrown back in jail. This is ridiculous. If this dude was going to do something like flee, he would have done it already. That's the thing I don't get, you know. The, the whole idea of revoking his bond is because of fear he might flee or whatever. He would have done it already. You know, that's the most stupid crap ever. Uh, future of parlor no longer in my hands. John Mates or Matt says company board ousted him from CEO position. Now, um, I'm telling you, running to all these other platforms, nah. I'm not over on Patreon now because of, you know, I'm running. I'm over there because of a million reasons. I want to separate the wheat and the tares. My time has value. I want to expand what we do. There's a million reasons why I went over the Patreon, and it's not because I'm running. AOC, compared to Jesse Smollett after her near-death riot experience, revealed as hiding from police in the office outside the Capitol. It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. This is the other ridiculous headline I was telling you that I shared. ACLU declares that transgender myths are debunked and says that boys who identify as girls 
don't have physical advantages in sports. Um, you got me. You got me. I mean, I've always been a fan of science. You got me. You really do. I see a number one up there. Let's see what it is. Hopefully not anything as ridiculous. Uh, Irish deputy um, Irish deputy PM says EU's vaccine rollout is not its finest hour and praises Russia's Sputnik V after promising Lancet data. There you go. That's the headlines. I am going to sneak out of here. I am tired. It's been another long day. I've got a behind-the-scenes video coming for you guys um, on YouTube because I want you to have a little better idea of what it is I'm doing and what my goals are, what my mission is. And you're going to see that, and you're going to see why in a behind-the-scenes video when you see what I had to do to try to make a halfway decent video um, for Patreon. So, you know, I said, we need to grow. We need to expand. We need to, you know, I wasn't just kidding, right? And uh, I literally, and I'll tell you, I, I, I had my drone, my Mavic Mini, not the Mavic Air 2, but that's what I recorded the video today, my update video for the Grow Tent for Patreon. I'm sitting there holding my drone, okay? Because it's the only stabilized camera I have is that drone. And no, it doesn't work real super good. It's a drone, <laughs> right? So, no, it doesn't work real good because it's not stabilized on the same level as if it were handheld, and its focal point is way further out. So it's not a super clear video because the, the, the focal point of the camera is further out because it's a drone. So, yeah, and it's kind of frustrating because uh, the Osmo Pocket, in fact, that's on sale for like three more hours for $189 on Amazon. And that's the exact camera I was talking about getting. But that's good. That's fine. Whatever. Um, that, that's why I'm over there. You know, separating the wheat and, wheat and the tares. Um, I'm able to do more over there, not only in, you know, different types of content, but what I talk about over there. I can get a lot deeper into stuff over there. And we're trying to grow, man. We're trying to get things together so that I can bring you more better stuff. And that doesn't, you know, I, I can't get that stuff given to me. So it is what it is. And I don't expect it given to me. I expect to work for it. That's what I want to do. That's why I'm over there. I want to work for you. Right? Two bucks a month isn't a whole hell of a lot to ask for. It's just not. Anyway, I hope you all have a good night. God bless you. We love you. Be one with your spirit. Shalom.